lights on. All AC sound line reading 58 volts. Pitch back, nose up. Okay. Confirm RPM. Yeah, it's all good. Well done. Well, well done. done. We've been on a road to develop our racing system and that involves a communication system that will cover the racing area. Network that we've been putting together, the communication system, we've been doing in conjunction with our principal telecommunications partner, who is Telstra Purple. And today we actually had our first infield test. So we did a ground test of our first uh, Mark III racing vehicle uh, in the, the field with the network set up. So you can see behind me one of the trailers. We've got two of these out here. This is the main trailer, we've got a remote trailer and they've basically set up a communications network across the entire uh, testing area. Today we've got the vehicle out uh, and we've been running checks to make sure that all the telemetry data is being successfully transmitted through the communications network, through the race data servers and back to the vehicle. So we've achieved that today, which means that tomorrow we are now uh, safe to fly and we will be operating the vehicle in the air. From the perspective of the flight engineer, the new infrastructure has many advantages. One of the main one being that we get uh, significantly less dropouts when multiple vehicles are on the network. This is uh, beneficial in many ways. One of the main ones being that it increases our safety overall for the system, uh, as well as increasing reliability and resolution in the data that we can capture on that ground control station. Engineering is very much an iterative process and through this iteration of the design we're pushing towards making the vehicle safer and more reliable both through the Telstra partnership with the network that we've developed and also with the architectural changes that we've made to the vehicle. This allows us to be more confident moving towards racing in the future. So this system is really the, the foundation and the building block of our collision avoidance system which then enables us to have multiple vehicles racing in close confines. So this is what this unit really provides and without it uh, we wouldn't be able to have that exciting racing that we're hoping to put together in the near future. Massive sort of achievement this weekend and then two weeks it's hopefully another massive achievement. When you're working as hard as the engineers at Alauda are doing, it helps keep morale up because you know long days it can get tiring but when you have these big wins like we did this weekend um, and hopefully on into the future it really does bond the team together and so we've got a pretty tight team here at Alauda and uh, something to be very proud of, I think.